So who's ready for some glute building? I know you are. So guys, today I'm here with you to show you seven different ways of targeting your glutes in machines. So before we jump into the gym, guys, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then press on the notification bell so you never miss a video with my face. I'm gonna show you my top seven exercises that I personally think is the best when wanting to target and build glutes. Okay, so number one exercise. We are gonna use the pull-up machine and we're gonna do glute push downs. Okay, so this is a basic and kind of simple exercise to do. The only thing you have to think about is push from your heels. That is the only golden rule you have to remember when you're doing this exercise. If we look at how I'm doing it, we are gonna do the exercise with one leg at a time. And as you can see, I am forcing my glutes to push down the weights. This is gonna activate my full glutes. But it's also a really good exercise if you want to target the under part of your glutes, which is your hamstrings and your glutes connected together. And the number two exercise is the Smith machine kicks. And this is a tricky one, but when you get this exercise right, girl, this will burn your glutes off. If this feels a little weird in the beginning, just take help from a friend or from somebody in the gym to just help you off with the bar. As you can see, I am lying down on the bench and I am having my hip area just above where the bench ends. I am placing the bar in the middle of my foot. And when you are pushing the weights up and when doing the kick, you are gonna press from the heels once again. And this is to activate the glutes. And the third rule when doing this exercise is don't overdo the kick. We're not gonna bend the back. We're gonna stop when your legs are in a 90 degrees position. That's when we have the glutes connected and when we have the glute isolation. So as you can see when I'm doing the exercise, I am pushing from my heels straight up, keeping tension for about one second and then lowering the weights again. And in my case, first of all, the Smith machine is broken. So I don't have a stop. That's why it spins around a little bit. So if you have a stop, that's really good. And also this Smith machine weighs about 30 kilos, so I don't have to have any weights on, if you are wondering about that. Number three is also in the Smith machine. And this one is so good. The Smith machine squats. Okay, so if you are new in the gym and you haven't started doing squats yet, this is the way to go. Because we have the bench and because we have the Smith machine, which is locked, you are like locked into the machine. It's helping you and you feel more safe when doing the squats. We are not gonna do a sit down. We're gonna tap the bench with the glutes, going up, squeezing the glutes. But we're not gonna overdo the squeeze. As you can see, my feet are a little bit wider than shoulder wide with my toes pointed out. As you can see how I am performing the exercise, I am picking up the weights, getting ready, taking a deep breath, going down, doing a little touch and then up, keeping tension in my glutes when going up. You don't have to do a overdo squeeze when doing squats or when doing squats in the Smith machine. I'm saying this because I see it so often on social medias. You can hurt yourself when doing the exercise like that. Exercise number four, and this is also in the Smith machine. I love the Smith machine. We're gonna do a type of hip thrust in the Smith machine. We're gonna use a bench and I want you to put the bench on 30 degrees because that's a good starter point when doing this exercise. I think we're gonna call this exercise the narrow hip thrust in the Smith machine because if you look at my feet, you can see that my foot placement is narrow. 
When it comes to performing this exercise, I know it looks a little bit funny, but if you look, look at the exercise, you can see that even though I am doing the exercise like I am doing it now, you can still see that my back is straight. And the only thing that is working is my glutes. And if we look at the back again, you can see that my upper part of my back is the one that is against the bench. This is like the same way placing yourself when doing the hip thrust. The only thing that is a little bit different is the foot placement and also the lift. And if you haven't tried this one, do it. Do it in the end of your session. I want you to do about 20 reps, 20 up till 25 reps. And I promise you that you will feel this exercise. Don't forget to have the muscle mind and the muscle contact when doing the exercise and take it slow in the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna do one more thrust and we are gonna use the leg extension machine to do hip thrusts. If you haven't done a lot of hip thrusts before, this is a really good exercise to start with. Every leg extension machine looks a little bit different, so in my case, I'm a little bit too short for everything in my life. So in this case, I am using a step up box because I want to have a longer lift and a longer thrust. Once again, when it comes to doing hip thrusts, we want to lay on the upper part of your back, chin against the chest, look forward, press up, thrust, squeeze those glutes together. So exercise number six. And this is, in the lying leg curl machine, we are gonna do reversed pumps. Placing myself in the machine, as you always do, but this time we're gonna slide down just a little bit, and then we are gonna push the knees out. So you're gonna do, basically, a reversed frog pump, but we're gonna do it in the machine. I think that the best way to explain this is to look at how I am doing it. What we have to think about when doing the exercise is to keep the tension and isolate the glutes. Pushing my knees out and then just curling the weights up and doing the pump, the frog reversed pump. Final and seventh exercise and we're gonna use the cable machine. Using a normal strap that you have in the gym. I have one in my gym, so I don't know the brand, I don't know where to buy them, but this is like the normal strap that you use for kickbacks. We are gonna use one, but we are gonna place it under the knee. This exercise is a type of adduction movement. So instead of doing the adduction machine, we're gonna do the same movement, but we're gonna use the cable machine instead. So, I'm doing a standing on my knee adduction, lifting at the side. And when doing this exercise, I can also actually feel a lot of tension in the resting leg, if you know what I mean. Because that leg is also holding me up a little bit. So, yeah, if you haven't tried this one, it's so good, it's so simple, and it burns. I hope that you like this video, and I hope that you want to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It's a really good video and it's a lot of good exercises to mix your workouts up with. I personally think that these seven is really good. They are helping me a lot when training. And if you have a crowded gym and if you have a little bit of unmotivated days, you don't, want to, you, you don't know what to do when you are in the gym, it's always good to mix your workouts up with exercises that you haven't tried before or maybe exercises that you don't do very often. I hope you want to try these exercises guys and please comment below if you tried them and what you thought about them. And for those of you who are wondering, I wouldn't say that this is a full workout. I wouldn't say that you can do these seven exercises in one workout. I would say pick one, two or three to put into your lower body session. Um, I will write in the description below of how many sets and reps I think that you should do of every single exercise and you can just take them 
and put them into your lower body workouts. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and press on the notification bell so you never miss a video with my... <laughs> oh my god. And I see you in my next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.